Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is KJ. Today we are going to be looking at my new A5 plum paper quad journal. I'm going to be using this as a health journal and I'm so excited to dive in. Like my other flip throughs, we'll be looking at what this planner comes with. This has no add-ons and I think it's just great to see the whole planner for what it is. So I'll do kind of a speed flip through and tell you what you need to know. So as with comes every plum, you have your special dates page and your ideas page. I don't know what I'm going to do with those in any planner, so stay tuned. But here we have our dashboard. I'll be using that as a fitness tracker and health tracker to, you know, look at the highs and the lows. The monthly view will just be a high level overview of my health for the month. And this is what the weekly looks like. I'll flip through the first two weeks of each month so you can see what it looks like with the previous month with the gray and then a full month with that month's colors. In the weekly spread, I plan to track day to day how I'm feeling and pain management, what I ate, just things that could be triggers and everything. So as y'all know, I have endometriosis and interstitial cystitis. My flare-ups lately with my IC have been horrendous. They've been lasting days and I just want to track and make sure that there's not a pattern, something that I'm eating, you know, stress. There's not really a known number one reason why IC happens, but they have a few things. It could be food related. It could be stress related. It could just be an autoimmune disease where your body attacks your bladder wall. I don't know but i need to do whatever i can to make sure that i'm taking care of me and so this is going to be my place to do that it's a great size to just write down a few things every day how i'm feeling what symptoms i was having i'm not great about like letting myself be vulnerable and express myself if i'm having bad days i really feel like every day like i'm just an overachiever i feel like every day needs to be 100 percent and it's just not sustainable, especially when you have chronic illnesses. So I'm just happy to have this place where I can really, I guess, check in with me. I think that's so important. My mom asked me the other day, uh, I had a really busy week and she was like, but how are you? Have you checked in with yourself? And it kind of caught me off guard because I hadn't. And this, this was kind of one of those moments where I was like, and this is why you need to do your health journal. So I love the way this is laid out. I think they did such a phenomenal job. And I like the size for what I'm doing. I don't need a ton of space. I'm not going to be, you know, journaling my heart, souls, and desires. I just want to track every day my main symptoms. If I had foods that could be triggering, I want to put them in there. And by triggering, I mean they could um, be causing the inflammation and the pain with IC. It doesn't mean they're bad foods. It doesn't mean that they're unhealthy. It just means that my body may be reacting bad to them. So... As a little kid, I used to say I had a bad remember. Yes, not correct, but I still have a bad remember. Or you could say I have a bad memory if you're not five, but that's why I want to track everything in here. I am curious too, if you track and have a health journal for whatever reason, chronic illness, just to you know make sure you're living a healthy lifestyle, whatever you're tracking it for, I'd love to know how you set it up because I think it'll be helpful to know I'm on the right track so let me know in the comments below if you have a health journal what it looks like for you if you are comfortable sharing if not I totally understand but I feel like I just want this to be a safe space to really just talk about anything and everything because we all have our struggles and I just think it's important to lean into one another when we go through those things but that is the main part of the planner here you have your contacts page and your 2023 glance and there is a pocket. I was a little shocked it didn't come with like a smaller sticker book like the other, the regular size that I had gotten. I would have loved to have seen small stickers. I don't know if that's just a thing they don't do in the A5s. If you know, let me know because I'm curious. But there it is. That is my health journal and that is the Plum Paper A5 quad layout. I love it. I think it really works. I think it's going to work great for me. And in the month of February, I'll be posting a health journal setup so you can see what I'm going to be tracking and how this is going to look for me. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. Anyways, I'll see y'all on Friday. We are going to be doing something different. I feel like I say that all the time, but it's because my channel's new and I'm exploring. <laughs> Um, on Friday, we're going to be doing a vlog from this January's bucket list. 
So let's see what things I accomplished, how far I made it into the bucket list, and we'll set up next month soon. Anyways, happy planning. See y'all soon.